Winter time is in full swing on the farm, folks, and uh, I'm working on small projects today. Today is kind of an easy one for me. I've already done one of these in the past, and I've absolutely loved it. This door here is one of the goat entry doors into the goat barn, um, and I've put up the um, freezer plastic screening on this door. Um, I did it, did it many months ago. I've absolutely loved it. It really helps um, if you get your measurements right, and then you just go online and order these. Um, I used uh, curtains.com, um, and it, it, it worked out really well. Um, you measure the width of the door and then how long you want them to hang. and You can measure them an inch or two longer because they're pretty easy to cut, folks. Um, in Minnesota, I'd highly recommend you get the ones that are made for freezing. I work for freezers. Um, because, you know, you don't want these things getting brittle and just, you know, breaking. I can tell you that, you know, it's also worth the money to get the stainless steel hanger here. Um, you know, it's Minnesota. Again, everything likes to rust that's outside, and uh, it just makes your stuff look crappier. For the few extra pennies, I'd highly recommend the stainless steel. Um, we're going to screw this right above the door, screw it right in. And then we're going to put um, these little metal, you know, brackets on. And they just kind of pinch the vinyl in, which makes it very easy to interchange the vinyl if the goats damage them. I have had the goats chew at these. I've had them scratch at them with their horns and occasionally tear one. But gosh, these things work really great for keeping the birds from flying in your doorways. They help keep the bugs down inside. Um, and they do a really pretty good job on most days when it's not terribly windy of keeping heat in or cool air in to pay upon which season when you buy them they come on a roll and they're perforated you got to basically tear them or cut them free and then you put them on the the bar now you can put them so there's a one overlap like i did right there or there's a two overlap like right here or you can put them so there's no overlap um, i'm actually going to put this one up with no overlap because i'm using it just for bird protection I'm going to trim the bottom about maybe an inch and a half off because, like I said, I ordered them a little long. No problem. That way I know I've got enough material when I hang it, depending upon how I hang it on the door. I went right above the metal door, punched it in with a couple metal screws that are self-tapping, and then I'm just going to hang the big vinyl strips. Now, I like the wider strips. I like the bare minimum, the 12-inch ones, or the 16s. I feel that they're heavier and they take the wind better. Um, I also think they're they're nicer for just holding up. You get the ones that only, you know, are go on two or three of these um, posts, and it's a lot easier for the goats to, to pull one down or to damage them, and then they don't hang right. So then all you basically do is put the nights, nuts on and then tighten this up. It's really not hard, folks. So again, some self-tapping metal screws is all you're going to need for the top. It comes with everything else. Get the ones that are freezer rated. Does much better in Minnesota winter. Um, this is one of our uh, Foscam cameras that overlooks this. And since I'm up here on the ladder, what a pretty view of the place. You can see the back side of the solar panels. You can see the dairy pen there. And the area where we keep some of the breeding does. Oh, what a beautiful scene up here it is today. It's about 10 degrees and sunny. And now I've got bird protection. So when I open up this barn to let the dairy goats in and out... They'll get used to pushing through this within a matter of days, and the birds can stay out. I absolutely love it. I highly recommend things like this, folks. Keeps your energy bill down, too, and keeps some of those unwanted pests out of your barn. I um, appreciate you watching. Please like, subscribe, and follow. It's how we support our channel, folks. Thank you.